the first day we have a Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. Thanks for sticking around with us. Former CIA and NSA director Michael Hayden says there is very little the U.S. can do to prevent ISIS from beheading another American journalist still being held captive. General Hayden joined us earlier today on America's Forum saying the U.S. cannot give in to terrorist threats. ISIS says they will execute another American journalist unless the U.S. stops all airstrikes. ISIS posted a video showing the beheading of journalist James Foley last night. U.S. officials are still currently trying to verify the authenticity of the video, although that may be a formality. The video was posted after President Obama announced Monday that American and Iraqi forces were able to recapture the Mosul Dam from ISIS. In a statement yesterday, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby says the airstrikes were critical for U.S. and Iraqi interests. There was reason enough to believe that their possession of the dam was inimical to the interest of the people of Iraq, to their safety, and to the safety of U.S. personnel and facilities. There have been dozens of airstrikes carried out over the last few days. President Obama was briefed on that execution video as he made his way back to Martha's Vineyard to resume his vacation. We do expect to hear from the president at some point later today. We'll keep you posted. Now to the situation in Texas where Governor Rick Perry is being charged with two felony counts of abusing his power. Congressman Ted Poe, a former Texas judge and prosecutor, also joined us here on Newsmax TV today to say the charges against Perry are bogus. This leftist group that influenced the district attorney's office in Travis County to go after Ge Governor Perry, finally did so, indicted him, and he's indicting for a crime that does not exist because Governor Perry followed the Texas Constitution. Well, in the meantime, Governor Perry had his mugshot taken, sporting a suit and a big smile yesterday at a Texas courthouse. Perry spoke to reporters, and as you hear, there a cheering crowd just before going into the local justice center, and he says he did the right thing. We don't resolve political disputes or policy differences by indictments. We don't criminalize political or policy disagreements. We will prevail. We will prevail. Well, Governor Perry's arraignment is scheduled for this Friday, and right now we're waiting for Attorney General Eric Holder to arrive in Ferguson, Missouri. Holder will be meeting with members of the FBI and local leaders to discuss the death of 18-year-old Michael Brown. In the meantime, authorities say they've reached a turning point as violence lessened a bit last night on the streets. Still, officials say about 50 folks were arrested. Tensions did start to heat up a bit last night as after demonstrators threw bottles filled with urine at cops, but most of the protesters peacefully marched through the streets. Authorities credited community leaders for stepping up and getting many of the troublemakers to stay home. Also later today, a grand jury will decide whether or not to indict Officer Darren Wilson. He is the policeman who shot and killed Michael Brown. More news ahead in 30 minutes. Now back to Midpoint.